What's up, y'all? I'm out here at the range, as you can see back behind me. I've been out here all day long doing some really interesting tests. It's been absolutely perfect weather out here, so I've been making the most of it, using every bit of time and every little gel space that I can get out here. So I'm gonna try to squeeze this one more in, and I figured I'd end it out with another big boy 45 ACP test. So as you can see, the jelly contraption's hanging tough out here today. We got the chrono and two blocks of gel. Like I said, I have done some testing in this stuff today, so this far block is pretty full this front block is kind of full but i've only done one test in it it was actually a liberty civil defense test so y'all know that stuff takes up some room now i've got a pretty nice little alley right up here in the front i should have no problem squeezing these two rounds in and since this is going to be the last test of the day if i have to put more than a couple rounds i can figure it out now as you can see i'm staying with my heavy clothing barrier as usual lately with that layer of denim fleece and two layers of the cotton t-shirt material and what we got here is some 45 ACP that was actually sent to me by skydiving. So I really appreciate him sending these my way. What he sent me here was a kind of a mixed box here of some LAX ammo. Now, LAX and Freedom Munitions is the same company. If y'all didn't know that, same thing. So a lot of these are actually packaged as Freedom Munitions, even if you get them from LAX. Matter of fact, his hollow point is. So he sent me some FMJ here, just some 230 grain FMJ. Now, both of these are small primer 45 ACP. So he got uh, sent me some FMJ here. And then as far as the hollow point, this is a 230 grain. Now the FMJ is 230 grain also, if I didn't mention, 230 grain plated hollow point here. Now these are definitely not meant for home defense or duty type use. They plainly say on their website in the description of these, these are target rounds, not meant for and not ideal for home defense or self-defense. Uh, these are actually made by Extreme, the projectile is. I'm not sure if that company is also the same as these. And the reason I say that is because I've actually tested some extreme and they have some on their website different than these that are called their XDEF uh, rounds. Those XDEF rounds, those have been loaded by Ammo Inc. They sent me some of those and I've tested those and th those did actually pretty well for defensive stuff. Um, so they actually have that same exact projectile on the website in a different load. But like I said, this one specifically says not ideal for defensive or duty use. So we're just going to see what they do out here anyway and maybe we'll be pleasantly surprised by them but i figure what i'll do with them obviously i've got two different barrels like i normally do so we're going to test these chrono and test these and as far as these fmjs i'm just going to chrono these through the five inch and i'm not even going to put one in the gel we know what 45 fmj does uh, i've got a video out there sending one if you want to look at that but i think mainly he wanted to see what the velocity is with these and see if they kind of match these and now speaking of velocity i've got written down 870 fps on my notes to bring me with me for this stuff today so i think that was on the hollow point off their site i'm not exactly positive though and as for what we're sending them out of today like i said we got two different barrel lengths we got the five inch rock island armory 1911 and we've got the four and a quarter inch taurus commander 1911 so this ought to be pretty interesting like i say the description of these hollow points plainly say on the website not ideal for defensive duty so if they don't do well obviously i'm not going to sit here and bad mouth them because we're trying to get something out of them that they tell us that they're not going to do but like i say maybe we'll be pleasantly surprised let me get this stuff set up let's see what they can do all right let's see if we can get some speeds on this stuff y'all we're going to do a five round average from each one we're going to start with this four and a quarter first i'll do five uh, hollows through the four and a quarter and then i'll do five hollows through the five and the five fmjs through the five so let's see what we get like i say i got 870 fps written down for some reason i think it was for these hollows but this is four and a quarter so i don't expect to see that either way let's see what we get from this one here y'all got 782 818 796 772 and 794 so definitely not a 870 let's check that average all right so the five round average that time from these hollows through the four and a half inch barrel is 792 feet per second so definitely not anything fast let me switch it over and let's check out that five inch all right let's see what the five inch does like i say we'll run these five hollows first and then we'll check out the info and then i'll run them fmjs see what we get let's see if we can get at close to closer to 870 with this one 832 
852. 826. 827. And 808, so still not 870, definitely closer though. Let's check that average. All right, so that time the five round average is still with hollows through this five inch is 829 feet per second. And if you remember out that four and a quarter, it was 792. So you're talking about what, 37 feet per second faster from this five inch barrel. So that again, that adds up about right with the uh, length difference in the barrel. So 37 feet per second, that's what, 5%. I don't think that's gonna make much difference in the gel. Either way, I, I don't think we're gonna see anything good out of these. Like I said, they already told us at the beginning, but let me reset it and let's check out them FMJs right quick. All right, let's sling five rounds of these FMJs across it and see what they give us. Eight seventy three, eight fifty one, eight sixty three, eight fifty eight. And 863, so I believe that was the fastest of all of them. Let's check that average. All right, so sure enough, these FMJs average faster than both those hollows. The average on these FMJs through this five inches, 861 feet per second. And if you remember the hollows through the five, it was 829. So you're talking about 32 feet per second faster from the FMJs, but that's pretty close, I guess, if you wanted to practice with these. And But that, the thing about it is though, these aren't carry rounds, those hollows. So this is kind of a moot point here, but interesting nonetheless. Again, I don't think we're gonna see too much good in the jail, but let me get this reset. And y'all know what time it is. All right, y'all, it's Does California Ammo Know How to Party Jelly Time. We're gonna put one round from each barrel length into the gel, starting with this four and a quarter inch first. Like I said, I expect nothing but the worst out of these. I think well, I've got y'all pulled back pretty far. You can see that's probably still not far enough. I expect this stuff to clear both blocks unless it does some crazy tumbling and slows down enough. But let's see, hopefully I'll be wrong. Maybe I will. I don't think so this time. All right, I believe that was a pretty good one. Let me go make sure we stayed in. All right, y'all, pretty much what I expected down there and, and basically what they told us. Although we did catch the projectile, so at least we'll have a little something to look at, but I think this is gonna do the same thing. This one might have that little extra it needs to go on out the end, but maybe not. Maybe it'll tumble or slow down or whatever, but either way, we got some, we got some unexpanded rounds down there. All right. I I think I went just above that other one. Let me go down there and see what we got. All right, y'all, let's check out what we got down here. I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time critiquing what this did in the jail because again, they plainly said this is not ideal for home defense or defensive use or duty use. It is it is target ammo. It's marketed as target ammo. So like I said, we'll take a quick look at it here though. So uh, on the bottom there, this little straight line here that you can see on the very bottom, that's the one from the four and a quarter inch Taurus. So obviously no expansion whatsoever, it goes on through here, through this first block into the second block. Now, I can tell you, I can show you some different angles here in a second though. It's completely independent of all the other tracks, believe it or not. It threaded the needle right between them, keeps on trucking down here. And I don't know how well y'all can see from this angle. Like I say, I'll take you closer here in a second, but right where I'm pointing down there, that down there at the bottom, that's the projectile. It's actually facing up. So it probably did a little bit of tumbling or partial tumbling along the way. And then pretty much the same story, the one right up above it, this line right here, this straight line, again, comes in, no kind of expansion. This is the one from the five inch, obviously, to Rock Island. Now, right here, you got some extra disruption. Usually, that right there is what it looks like when something tumbles, so it's possible it tumbled right there, kept on going, crossed into this second block. It almost loses everything right here, the track and everything. I've seen that before, too, but the, it ends up right here. I don't know if y'all can see it, but again, I'll show you here in a second. Now, it's facing forward, so if 
it tumbled, it tumbled back around. And again, absolutely no expansion. So as far as the penetration on them, the one from the four and a quarter is out here at 28 and a quarter inches. And the one from the five inch is out here at 26 and a half inches. So obviously massive over penetration from both of those. Really not a whole lot to see, but here's your little bit closer look. Both of these little pencil lines, that's the ones here. That stuff, all that stuff behind it, everything except those two lines is from that previous civil defense test. So as you can see, both of them again, there and there, right there, there's that extra disruption where I'm assuming it tumbled, maybe not. It just may be some kind of anomaly in the gel. Carries on through here. Like I said, it kind of disappears right there, but then you can see it there forward, facing down a little bit. And then the other one, the first one, you can see it sitting there as well. No kind of expansion. All right, let's look at these projectiles, y'all. As you can see, not a whole lot to look at here. I mean, they even still shiny, look like they just came out the box. Now, as you can tell on the, on the end there, I don't know if you can tell, this one right here, this was the one out of the five inch that was moving just a little bit faster. You can kind of see a difference there. It's a little bit more smashed flat on the nose than the four and a quarter is, but not much difference at all. If there's ever been a time that I saw some projectiles that look like they could be reloaded, Loaded. these are them but let's get us a few measurements anyway since we got them out so like i said they both started at 230 this one here is at 229.7 this one here is at 230.1 so both of them right around where they're supposed to be i'm sure that's all within manufacturing tolerances and then as far as size this is definitely going to be unremarkable here this is the one out of the five inch 1911 rock island you got four five two and then your length on this one here is six four five and then this one here out of the four and a quarter inch you got four five three and then your length on this one here is six five one but there you have it y'all the lax ammo plated hollow points now once again these are not marketed as defense use duty use matter of fact like i said several times they specifically say they are not ideal for that so i didn't expect anything more than what we got out of them out here now supposedly these are some nice accurate rounds they claim they're nice and accurate are used by different competitions so i don't know about that maybe i'll try to get a few more and, and do some kind of test with that but you know i'm more of a, a defense of gel kind of guy so i'm not real real interested in that but as far as these being some hidden gem in the self-defense type of realm they are definitely not it all right y'all i'm gonna wrap it up right there for this test of the 45 acp from lax ammo Again, really no surprises here. Like I said, I went into this knowing that this was not self-defense ammo, not duty ammo. They told you flat out on the site and told you, matter of fact, it was not ideal for that purpose. So wasn't really expecting anything here and got exactly what I was expecting, just straight through pretty much through both blocks of gel. Now, like I mentioned at the beginning, they do have rounds available that are meant for self-defense purposes, hollow point stuff. It's their X-Def rounds made by this ex same extreme company, the same uh, company that makes these projectiles but those are meant for self-defense i'll leave a link for it but i've actually tested those x-def projectiles loaded in some ammo ink rounds and they did pretty good from what i can remember but let me know what y'all think about these rounds is this something that any y'all out there have actually used for its intended purpose of target type stuff let me know down in the comments if you had and what your experience has been with them if you did enjoy the video reach down and hit that thumbs up button subscribe to the channel and make sure you've got them notifications turned on so you don't miss anything when i upload it if you doing some shopping take a second and check out those affiliate links in the video description anything you buy after going through those links down there i get a kickback from them towards the channel so i really appreciate that once again i appreciate all my range gang members and every single one of y'all out there for supporting the channel like y'all do it's been a long productive day out here got some really good testing done plenty of stuff on the way so y'all be on the lookout for that and in the meantime stay safe stay prepared and i'll see you soon